Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Jilmil and in today's video I will be teaching you letter of placing an order. Letter of placing an order is a formal letter. So, in this letter only formal language can be used. Abbreviations and slang language should be strictly avoided. Each letter has a format to follow. So is the letter of placing an order. Letter of placing an order carries 8 marks. And the marking scheme is for format there is 1 mark, for content 4 marks and expression 3 marks. Letter of placing an order is a formal letter and it is a business letter. The word limit of a letter of placing an order is between 100 to 150 words. You may be asked in the exam to place an order for example library books, computer accessories, sports items, stationery, musical instruments, furniture and so on. Letter of placing an order is a formal letter so the format of a formal letter must be strictly followed. The letter should get started with the address of the sender, the person who is writing the letter. Then the date should come, the date when you are writing the letter. After that the address of the receiver, the person to whom you are writing the letter to. Then the subject should come which should be very clear and precise. A uh, subject should be written in words, not in complete sentences. Now the main body. Make sure the body of the letter is divided into three paragraphs. End the letter by subscription, that is thank you. After that, write your name, designation and of course the signature. Now let us see the format of a letter of placing an order. You have to begin with the sender's address. So the name of the school from which you are writing is Tagore Public School and the school is in Jaipur and the pin code is a must in a letter. Remember that and if you do not know the pin number or the pin code you can just write 00xxx that signifies that that is the place for writing the pin number. Leave one line after that write the date the date on which you are writing the letter followed by the receiver's address. In the receiver address you are addressing this particular letter to the manager and the manager is of Bhavan booksellers and this Bhavan Booksellers is in Mumbai and the pin code is 00XXX since I don't know the pin number so I have just written it 00XXX. Subject of a letter is very very important because that tells you the purpose of writing the letter. Since you want to place an order for some books, so the subject would be placing order for the school library. And remember as I told you earlier, the subject of the letter must be very very clear and precise. Salutation. Salutation means Greeting the person to whom you are writing the letter. So you greet the person as dear sir. Now the body of the letter is the most important part in a formal letter. The body of the letter must be divided into three paragraphs. So in the letter of placing an order what would you write in the first paragraph? In the first paragraph you would introduce yourself and you would also tell the receiver what you wish to order. 
in the second paragraph you would mention the detail of the order that you want to place for example name of the item number of items that you wish to order and remember when you place an order always put the order in a box inside the box and the third paragraph you have to refer to how when where would you like the delivery to be made and other specifications like the discount that you wish to get uh, from the order or like mode of uh, transportation deadline by what date you wish the product to reach you so these are certain specifications you need to mention in the third paragraph you would end the letter with subscription saying thank you after that you would mention your name and if you have any designation that you need to mention and at last you will put your signature and then finally you end the letter now here i have a sample letter of placing an order so the question is write a letter placing an order for books for your school so we begin with the sender's address it is blossom public school ghaziabad and the pin code is 000 so leave some space after that we write the date the date of writing the letter leave some space after that you write the receiver's address it is mms books and it is in ashok vihar 12 ca model town kurukshetra punjab and the pin code is dash 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 the subject of this letter is placing order for school library books after that leave some space and greet the receiver as sir now we would begin the body of the letter as i told you earlier the body of the letter must be divided into three paragraphs so this is the first paragraph of your letter of placing an order so let's see what you would write in the first paragraph we are pleased to inform you that our management has decided to place an immediate order for the supply of books for our school library for the academic session 2020 to 2021 the following is the list of books with their particulars attached so this is what you will write in the first paragraph of the letter in the second paragraph of a letter of placing order you would provide all the details of the items or the goods that you wish to order since this letter the format that i am showing you is we are placing an order for some books for the school library so this table you could see the heading is list of books so always remember when you place an order the order must always be put inside a box okay and also remember one more important thing is that a box format is never broken and carried forward to the next page when you are writing the making the box in the answer script and if there is less space after the first paragraph so please do not make the box there because a box format you cannot break and you can it cannot be carried forward to the next page so you begin from the next page where the box could be completed in one single page and remember don't forget that the whatever you wish to order it must always be in a box format so here we want to order for some books for the school library so we write the heading as serial number name of the books that you wish to order if you know the authors and the publishers name you have to mention it that makes it easier for the receiver and also you have to mention the number of copies that you wish to order now let us have a look at the table we want to order number 1 history of india books so the name of the book here is history of india and the author or the publisher's name is l prasad and the number of copies that we want is 20 in number 2 we have modern trigonometry by bansilal and the number of copies that we wish to order is 30 
In serial number 3, you want to place an order for modern algebra books by S.K. Sen and the number of copies that you wish to order is 25. In serial number 4, you have mentioned that you need the new atlas of the world by Frank Brothers and you need 30 copies. And number 5, you want India Wins Freedom Book by M. A. Q. Azad and you want about 10 number of copies. Always remember that the number of items that you order must be at least minimum 5 items you have to order. In paragraph 3, you would refer to how, when, where you would like the delivery to be made and other specifications if you have any. Now the third paragraph of the letter is Kindly send the books at the above address through transport with proper cash bill. All the items should be in good condition, well bound and packed properly. Any damage to these items during transportation will be your responsibility. The items should reach the school within 10 days after the receipt of the letter. Otherwise, the order shall stand cancelled. Kindly give us maximum discount. The payment of all these books will be digitally made. Looking forward to hearing from you. So this will be the third paragraph. After that is the subscription that is thank you and then the name of the person who has placed the order and the designation is librarian. So Mohan Singh is the librarian of the school, the school which is placing order for some books for the school librarian. So the designation is mentioned. Now here I have about three questions for you for practice. Please do practice and remember the simple tip which I gave you. Follow the same format of the sample letter which I have provided and just change the name of the goods and the name of the items. The rest would remain the same. So please practice. It will help you in your exam. Now for a letter of placing an order, you could follow the same format, the sample letter that I have given you. You can learn it, you can memorize it, you can by heart it and you can write the same thing in the exam and it will help you to score marks in the exam. Only thing is you have to change the name of the items that you wish to uh, order for. For example, in this letter, in this sample letter, I have shown you how to place an order for books. So similarly, if you are asked in the exam to place order for some sports goods, so the rest of the letter would remain the same. Only what you need to do is, in the subject, you need to change. For example, here in the subject, if you go back to the previous slides, the subject that I have uh, written is placing order for the school library. So what you need to change is placing order for some sports goods. And dear sir, salutation would remain the same. The body of the letter also would remain the same. Except that you have to change the order, the name of the order. For example, here I have mentioned about books and there in that letter, in the exam, you have been asked to order for some sports goods. So you will change it into sports goods. So the rest will remain the same. Even the uh, list in the second paragraph, uh, the box would be same. Only you have to change the name of the list name. For example, here I mentioned list of books. So there in the exam, if you have been asked to order some sports goods, so here you would write as list of sports goods. So serial number column would be the same and name of the books here then would change to name of the sports good. Then here authors publishers name you don't have in sports goods. So there you may mention 
about the brand for example it is uh, you want to order from for some cricket bat so if you know any brand you can mention it here and the number of sports items that you want so will be here so since uh, we are ordering for books that is why i mentioned your number of copies but here you would not mention as number of copies since you are ordering for some sports goods so here it will be number of sports uh, goods or number of sports item and the conclusion also will be the same the rest all would remain same only wherever uh, we have written books that would change into sports good so this format would be uh, help you in the exam so it will help you if you memorize just one letter and with this letter only you can order for anything that comes in the uh, exam you may be asked to place order for any items any goods it could be furniture it could be library books it could be stationery it could be uh, any other goods whichever good is mentioned you need not worry because you have already memorized the letter you have already learned the letter only the name of the item should be changed the rest would remain the same thank you for watching the video if you liked it then please don't forget to press the like button also do comment in the comment box and please do subscribe my channel thank you see you again until then goodbye